Hi there, Ryan with I Am Minnesota Nice. Today I'm out in Cold Spring, Minnesota. I was out here um, looking for some granite and I noticed a little sign that said chapel. So I took that road and uh, I re I'm really impressed with what I saw. So you drive up this little road here. Let me show you this little road. Um, it's a really, really gorgeous setting. We're gonna go up this hill. You know, I have never been out here. I've been to Cold Spring uh, quite a few times, actually, but I've never actually been out to this chapel. I didn't even know that it existed. It's it's one of uh, St. Mary's. It's the Assumption Chap Chapel in Cold Spring. Now, I was assuming that it would just be, you know, a traditional white, black roof, white-sided, black-roofed chapel. But when I actually got to the top, I was really surprised at what I saw. It's this gorgeous setting here. Let me see if I can get this. It's on this hill. It's just this gorgeous setting here. So let me get pulled up here and parked so then this is uh, a little bit safer. Now after I did a little bit of research on this thing, um, the original chapel here was built in 1877 as part of the grasshopper plays that Minnesota was having at the time. Now, let me give you a little shot. There is the back side of the chapel. There's a, an outdoor altar here. There's just a little outdoor altar. The building is, I think it's 16 by 26 or something like that. It's all made out of granite. The building as it stands now is built in 1952. Uh, Cold Spring Granite Company donated all of the, the granite that's on it. There's some beautiful stained glass here. Um, the belfry up there, which has an actual operating bell, which is pretty unique for churches these days, actually. One of the un unique things that is that the doors are always open, like most churches, um, but they don't have any problems with crime. Not a whole lot of people know about it up here, so it's pretty secluded. Here's a little plaque here, um, the Assumption Chapel. They first had some masses in this area in 1854, and then 1877 is when the original chapel was placed on this spot. 1894, there was a tornado that destroyed that chapel, and it took until 1951, here's what the sign says, um, to rebuild it. So let's just go in real quick. There's an automatic light in here. It's really small and really intimate. Uh, there are some weddings and some, some private ceremonies that happen. They do have ceremonies every Tuesday or Thursday still during the summertime. It's just a really small, really intimate little chapel. Um, there's Mary up there. Gorgeous. Uh, stained glass windows here. These are all imported. I don't, I couldn't get the actual place that they were imported from. There's a little guest book over here, um, a donations, which I'll be putting some donations in there. Uh, in the guest book here, we actually have people from Tennessee, Michigan, um, some people from around the area here. This actually draws a lot of people into it. I'm from around the country, actually. Missouri there I see, Texas I see, Montana, Arizona. Um, I don't remember exactly how many people they have come in, but I think it's in the thousands from all over the country. So I'll make sure that I sign my name on that too. Uh, I just thought that this was a really cool little place. It's a beautiful setting. It's a gorgeous little spot. And if you have a chance, if you're traveling down Highway 23 in Cold Spring, Minnesota, make sure that you just take the time. It takes just a couple of minutes. Drive up the hill and come see this little chapel. I mean, it's just, it's just a breathtaking, breathtaking setting. Once again, my name is Ryan Ott. I am Minnesota Nice. I hope you guys are having a good summer.